Hello everyone, welcome to Civil Brains YouTube channel. So in this lecture, we will see the entire sequence of a construction project. So let's say you are a client and you came to me uh, asking that you want to construct a building and that building may be, let's say a one BHK home, two BHK or three BHK, or maybe a bungalow, or you wanted to construct a residential or a commercial building or a steel structure. So that is your requirement, okay? So let's say you wanted to construct a, uh, let's say three BHK home. So once you tell me that, that you want to construct a three BHK home, the next question that I'm going to ask you, I'll ask you the usage of the building. You told that you want to construct a three BHK home. Then I'll be asking you how many people are going to stay there because that's how we try to decide how, how big uh, you want a building. Okay. But anyhow, you are told it's a three BHK, but I'll ask you how many people are going to stay there so that we can plan the space planning accordingly. Then I'll ask you what is the comfort level you want, whether you want a medium home or whether you want an ultra luxury home. Based on that also, we can plan uh, all these things we have to plan. And then I'll be asking you what is the budget that you have. So once we have all this input, what we will do is we'll do a rough sketch of the plan that is required. And also I'll be asking you uh, uh, what is the facing of the road that you have. Okay, all these are the questions that we usually ask you so that once we get all the input from the client side, next what we do is we try to prepare the rough sketch that is on the paper we are going to do a rough sketch. Once that rough sketch is done, only then we'll use the software that is like AutoCAD 2D or you can use uh, even a Revit software or even uh, uh, for 3D elevations, you can use Google SketchUp software or you can use 3ds Max software. But before using this uh, software and all, no, that plan, how it's going to look, that plan, the space plan should come in your mind. The software is never going to do all these things for you. Okay, let's say I had a plan in my mind. I did it on the rough page and then I'm going to do the same thing on the AutoCAD 2D software. So once I do the plan, let's say I'll show you one plan here. Okay, this is a plan what I have. Okay, this is one plan what I have done. So it's a, let's say it's a ground floor plan. Similarly, this is my first floor plan. Okay, so I'll be preparing two, three different kinds of plan. It's not that only one plan I'm not going to prepare. This may be one plan. In another plan, what I'll do is I'll keep this staircase and the lift somewhere here and I'll shift the kitchen from here to here and the puja room will be shifted from here to here. So that is another thing what I'll be doing. And another plan, instead of giving an entrance from here, I may give an entrance from here also. So in this way, what I'll do is I'll create three to four different plans so that we'll, set, we'll select one based on the client's requirement. Okay, understood what we are going to do. Yeah, I'll go back to this again. So once all these things are done, AutoCAD 2D, uh, or you can make use of softwares like Revit and all, it's totally up to you. What we'll do is we'll send the plan back to the client. So we'll ask the client, see, these are the plans, what I've done. Just re-verify, uh, recheck whether uh, whichever plan you like, you can go with that plan. So once the client says that, no, no, the plan, what you have given, the first plan or the plan which I've shown you, that is a good plan. We, once the, all those architectural plans are done, next what we do is we go with the analysis and designing part. Of course, there uh, before doing that, we want the soil testing to be done so that we get an understand, we get an idea what is a... Uh, what is that? Yeah, soil bearing capacity of your uh, soil. I mean, so the safe bearing capacity of the soil, I want to know so that only I can add to the footing design and all. And then I'll be using a software like ETAB, STAD Pro, or even you can do some manual calculation. You can use Excel sheets also. Again, all these things, software will never tell which size of the column you should tell, uh, which uh, what is the reinforcement you're supposed to put. Software will never tell. You have to give an input that for this particular house, I'll start with a nine inch by 12 inch column or nine inch by 15 inch column. You are the one who is going to give an input, not the software, okay? Yeah, so you can use softwares like ETAB, STAD Pro, then for foundation design, you can go for a safe software and RCDC, you can use it for the detailing. And then if you're doing a, see right now, we are speaking about the bungalow. Let's say tomorrow you want to do a construction of a bridge. So in that case, you go with a software like CSI Bridge. There's one more software called Midas software. So in this way, we have a different software based on the structure that you're going to put, we are going to use the software, okay? Normal for RCC structure and all, ETAP software is good. Again, when I say software, the fundamental should be good. Only then you can give an input. Today, I see a lot of students saying that I know ETAP software. They do it from random uh, institutes, offline and some online institutes. Uh, 
uh, what happens is just learning the software and coming. So that will not help you to become a structured design engineer. Your fundamentals should be good. And then you should have a knowledge, like at least for a G plus one building, what kind of column I should give. You should give an input to all those things. Okay. Yeah. So once these are done, we are going to prepare all the structural drawings. Right now, what we did is an architectural plan. So once you do the architectural plan, next what we are going to do is we'll prepare a structural drawing. So you can see it here. This was the architectural plan. So in the structural drawings, we are going to prepare a layout like footing layout. This is your footing layout. Then we'll do a column layout. After that, we'll be preparing a plinth beam layout. Then uh, first floor, second floor, shuttering layout. And also we'll give a schedule of footing table where we mention that what should be the footing size, what is the name of the footing, uh, what diameter should come in the shorter span, what diameter of the bar in the longer span, what should be the depth of the footing. These things we call it as a structural drawings. I'm showing you. Then the column schedule we are going to give, what size of column you're supposed to put and all, what should be the reinforcement in the column. All these things will be done by the structural design engineer. If you are, if you are working in a big firm, the architect will only prepare the architectural plans and all. But what should be the size of the column? What should be the uh, this thing reinforcement coming in the column, beam, slab, staircase? That will be decided by decided by a structural engineer. Okay, we'll go back now. Yeah, we finished up to here. Yeah. Okay. Fine. So now uh, we will uh, release the drawings. Those drawings we call it the GFC drawing. That is good for construction drawings. So first is architectural plan. After that, we'll go with the structural drawings. In that structural drawing, we'll be having a footing column, beam, slab, staircase. Then you have to produce the electrical drawings also. See, when I say a building, it's not that only the civil people will be there working. Entire building has to be handed over to the client so that it is usable. For you to use any building, you require a roof, you require proper electricity, you require proper plumbing and all. Everything is required. So again, you require electrical drawings and all. Then you require plumbing drawings. After that, if you are doing interior and all, you require interior drawings and all. So uh, in, a, in a big firm, what happens? You have a different engineer. Electrical will be done by electrical engineer. Plumbing will be done by the plumbing engineer. But if you are starting your own consultancy, a normal house and all, usually a civil engineer or a structure engineer will do all these things. Uh, preparing the plumbing, electrical structure, they are only going to do. Otherwise, usually what happens is architecture will do the electrical and the plumbing. Structure engineers will give the structural drawings. But a good the structure engineer, uh, of course, he can prepare electrical drawing, plumbing drawings for a small house and all. We can do that. For a big firm, we have different engineers. Okay. Yeah. Once it is done, what we will do is everything is there. Right now, whatever we have done, everything is on the paper only. Still, this work is not executed on the side. Now, the client will give the execution to the contractor. So now the contractor will come and he'll start with the execution of the project. So what the contractor will do, first he'll do the marking, okay, that the excavation is going to do. After that, he's going to put the PCC, then the footing, then the column, beam, slab, staircase, brickwork, for plastering, painting, paint, everything we are going to do as a contractor. And finally, we'll hand over the site to the home, to the client, okay. Now, what all execution steps are there, those things will be something like this. I'll show you that. One minute. Yeah. Like this. So we'll be starting like this. These are the first thing what you're going to do. You're going to do the excavation. Okay. Yeah. First you'll do the side clearance. Then you'll do the center line marking and all. Okay. So see all these things is covered in my course. Now I'll come to that. I'll pitch about my course. Okay. So in this way, each and everything in my entire course, I'll be teaching you how the excavation is done, how to give the level. Okay. How the shuttering should be done. Okay, then each and everything almost uh, right from starting to the end, almost for 45, for almost 60 plus hours, I'll be teaching you all these things practically from the side. Each and everything till the handing over, we'll try to understand how to read the drawings, okay, uh, how to do the execution on the side, what is de-shuttering according to the code book, when you're supposed to do the de-shuttering and all, okay. So this is how we are going to learn in the entire course. And also, when you do the execution on the site, now all these are the executions that you're supposed to do one by one. You're getting my point now? So these are the things which you should be doing. Then once that is done, you should put the beam reinforcement. These are your beam reinforcement. Then you have to put the slab reinforcement, then the concreting, then the, these are the electrical uh, conduct link. For that, you should refer the electrical drawings and all. Hmm? Getting my point now? So the entire thing will come under the execution. So this was all about the sequence of construction. So if you get any project, this is how the entire project will flow. Got it? Fine.
So this was all about the video. Now for someone who really wants to learn all these things in a more better way, first I'll show you the reviews from my students. Later you can think of enrolling in my course if you are interested. Okay, so you can see here all these are reviews given by a, a few of my students. Okay, your teaching method is very good. It is helpful for fresher and experienced people. Thank you very much for giving this type of content. Okay, I'll just go through a few of the reviews really comprehensive course and not just any marketing course very deep technical knowledge has been imparted by akshay sir always thankful for him okay you can read out all these uh, reviews given by the students uh, and you can see it here okay thank you sir all your courses are excellent all this are easy explanation by practical example okay really easy to use and highly recommended so when i teach online i make sure that you are actually putting that uh, when you're working you can see he's one of my students who got a job in uh, uh, Saudi Arabia in a very first interview who got it and you can see is one of my student who learned on online through online courses and he was able to do the execution on the site thank you so much for your wonderful videos this course is very helpful okay I'll definitely your courses are very helpful for me so you can see you can go through all these reviews and all the reason why I'm showing you the reviews is you get to know to what level I teach you our site engineers from the contractor side need this course I suggested them so he's one of my student who's working in DRDO. After attending your construction manager mastery course, even the layman will become a professional civil engineer. So I'll just run through all my achievement that I've done. And for somebody who really wants to learn, who wants to take my eight year of experience in the span of four to five months, definitely uh, that is the level of teaching that I've done in my course. Uh, one of my students got a job in Dubai. You can see here. Okay, I used to ask my ask for seniors and friends to share their experience, but no one will share and give the knowledge of work because of jealousy. Uh, okay, you can you can read all these reviews. The reason why I put the reviews is to uh, get an idea to what level I teach and what all knowledge you are going to get. So one of my students got job in Soba as a site engineer, and uh, in Bangalore he got a salary of twenty five k. Okay, so I'll just run through all these reviews. If you have a time, just pause the video and uh, read all these reviews okay so you too can uh, learn all these things in a uh, very less amount and you can learn it in a structured manner okay you can go through all these reviews and now i'll show you i was a frustrated civil engineer earlier when i don't know about your course fortunately while searching i got to know about your course and also from one of my friend review i got to know that your courses are like blessings so i gave an interview on saturday today i got selected as a site engineer job Okay, you can go through all these reviews. Again, see, I don't provide you any jobs and all. My courses will be in such a way that you yourself will find a job. Okay, don't expect that I'll help you in getting a job. Uh, one, he is one of my students who was, who was working in Tata projects, having four years of experience. These are reviews given by him. Okay, you can go through that. So uh, you can go through all these reviews. Okay, and uh, he is one of my students who had recommended more than 50 plus people. This course helped me for securing my job as a site engineer. Okay, yeah. I one of my students got job in LNT also. Uh, yeah, just this is how I teach. Now going back to that particular course, just for someone who is really interested, I would suggest everyone to enroll in the course. The reason being, yeah, the reason being, whatever my eight year of experience I have, I have everything I've shared in my courses. If you try to learn on your own, it will take another three to four years to learn to that level what I teach in my course. Rather than that, if you want to spend some money, whatever money you are going to spend in the next two to three months, every everything you are going to recover through your next job, right? So uh, initially, you can if you are really if you want to enroll in my course, go for a construction manager master course. Uh, you get my all future courses in that. I've covered each and everything in this course. Whatever I've explained to you now, no, for more than two thousand plus videos I've given. You can go for the English language or Hindi language. If we have level one, level two, uh, level three, and level four and level five here. Here we'll be learning about entire site executions and all. Okay, after site execution, you can click on this and try to go through the content and not waste time here. And whatever drawing reading you are supposed to do, everything I've taught you in the drawing reading, how to read the drawings. You go and check the content once. So only then you'll be able to understand. So, and then we'll go to the drawing reading. After that, we'll also come to the quantity takeoff and all. So see, we'll be preparing such kind of Excel sheets and all. It's a BOQ preparation and all. Okay, similarly, we'll be preparing such kind of Excel sheets for bar winning schedule and all. I'll be teaching you how to prepare all these Excel sheets, how to do all these things for the column, each and everything we are going to cover. In the estimation, we'll do the complete estimation. We'll do all the, this thing also, material estimate also. I'll show you the material estimate. Suppose if you get a project tomorrow, you should know what is the total cost of that project and all. So in this way, we'll do all the material cost, 
how much cements and aggregate is required for all all the entire building and all okay and similarly the same thing is taught in this course then we'll go for the interview preparation course we'll go for a concrete technology course and ms excel then we'll learn the basic project planning we'll learn ms project in upcoming i'll be adding a primer here then we'll be learning a complete steel structure execution also so in this way you're going to get all the things in this construction manager mastery course and if you want to learn only uh, a basic level like site execution estimation drawing reading uh, and then uh, uh, interview preparation you can enroll in this course but i definitely uh, tell you either you can enroll in the 5001 but if you're someone who is ready to spend money and want to learn uh, the basic project planning and all go for this course uh, but uh, if you want to start with a small course go for my free course uh, the validity is only for 30 days watch it for three to five days you'll get to know what to what level i teach and if you feel i'm the right person to guide you enroll in the complete course and definitely you have to enroll in the courses i'm telling i'll tell you why you should enroll in the courses one is if you keep on learning only your knowledge is going to improve if your knowledge improve your earning is going to improve whatever salary you are getting today it's only because of the skills that you have okay that's the one thing and uh, whatever mistakes i have done in my eight year of eight year of my work experience everything you cannot do and you cannot learn it you have to learn from somebody else so always it's better to invest in your learning so that your earning is going to increase few people think a lot of my students are there in my app those who take this one rupee course and all and they expect to learn everything in one rupee i cannot teach you everything in one rupee remember that uh, this is like a basic course if you like my content go for the complete course the reason why you should learn all these things is so that once you learn your knowledge will improve you can speak with anyone technically and you can see all these reviews no these reviews are not like some paid reviews and all I've been teaching for the past six years on online. You can see the quality of reviews. There are more than 1,000 plus reviews that I've got. So all the students who have given the reviews, they're already doing pretty good in their life. They've got excellent knowledge. So you can see all the students. And these are the students, those who have taken courses from other, other institutes and all. Okay, but if you see the reviews and all, finally they have come to me and this is the kind of knowledge they have got. I'll show you a few more reviews. It may take another one or two minutes. You can read all these reviews and all. The reason why I tell to take a course is, uh, if you try to do it on your own, see, site may both confidence reta is a video lecture se both kuch seekne ko. It's a, it, the review is given in 2022. It's now 24 now. And still this guy is uh, in contact with me and uh, they are doing pretty good. They are looking after a good G plus four, G plus five construction. And I definitely tell you to enroll in the course. So there are many people, those who say you are just selling the course. I'm okay in selling my course because I'm selling my achievement. I'm selling my knowledge. And if you are paying some money and gaining that, then there is no loss. Of course, if my course is not going to deliver, then you should tell that uh, my courses are not good. I'm just selling the course. But if my courses are really helping you to gain the knowledge, definitely you can enroll in the course. And whatever money you are going to spend it here, you know, the next two to three months, you're going to recover it in your first salary. And even the amount of knowledge that you're going to get, you know, I'll, I'm going, you're not going to get it anywhere else for this particular price and the quality of content that you're going to get, you can check the quality of the content, look at the lecture numbers, look at uh, each and everything here, okay? So that is the quality we are giving. And even if you spend some money, it's okay, that's it. So I'll see you back in the next lecture. In the next lecture, I'll uh, explain you uh, what are the different uh, types of constructions that we do based on the buildings. And uh, like my channel, subscribe to my channel uh, so that you get uh, good videos, uh, and if you subscribe to my channel, that will help me a lot. So I'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.